All right, thank you again and welcome back. I can see that there was a lot of discussion, so hopefully you managed to um, relax a bit and get ready for the final session. Um, just before we dive into the uh, final part of the, uh, of the morning, um, we just wanted to share with you um, the results of a, a rapid sort of a, a assessment, if you wish, that we did um, obviously with the forum colleagues to get a sense of what practitioners, researchers, people involved in this uh, area of work um, would have to say in terms of what they think is the biggest challenge uh, with building communication capacity to counter infectious disease threats. And um, we sent this out through different channels and we received, if I'm not mistaken, over 150 responses. Uh, and of course, it's just you know anecdotal da uh, data, uh, but certainly it provides a, a, an interesting uh, glimpse into the kinds of issues that people involved in this area of work are thinking about key challenges when building communication capacity. And, and in many ways, not different from the issues that the, the panel has raised. Um, trust, you can see in this work cloud, that what are the, the key words that are emerging? Trust, coordination, transparency, managing misinformation, timeliness, certainly funding uh, to, to support um, the ongoing work and response, collaboration, integration, issues that have come up throughout the, um, the discussion yesterday and today. So I think in many, in many ways, what it does is we, it reinforces um, the criticality of these issues when it comes to building communication capacity. So we just wanted to give you that sort of a context in terms of uh, the feedback that we received. Now, moving into the session. Um, so the, the title of this session is Strengthening Risk Communication and Community Engagement in Disease Outbreak Response, A Systems Perspective. And as I said earlier, we wanted to um, end with a, a discussion that looks at, on the one hand, sort of the international normative aspects of risk communication um, specifically or primarily through the international health regulations um, and some of the um, gaps in, in improving coordination mechanisms that can actually support preparedness and certainly lead to more predictable and effective response. Um, and then looking at not only those normative frameworks, but also looking at then if we have those frameworks in place, what are the capacities that we actually need to have to make sure that those are adequately implemented because we can have norms, we can have rules, procedures, but we also need the capacities to actually implement those. And that's the, the focus of the, of the other part of this session, which is really about the gaps that we see in public health systems when it comes to uh, issues related to risk communication and community engagement. And that's the task that we have um, asked um, the two panelists um, for the final session, uh, Dr. Gaia Kamewake and Dr. Erma Manoncourt. Um, just, I mean, you have read already the, um, the bios, but just to say that uh, Dr. Gaia Kamewake uh, leads the um, interventions and guidance in the Infectious Hazard Management Department uh, in the WHO's Health Emergency Program. Uh, she's a medical doctor by training but has worked for many years in uh, communication and, and, and community engagement issues. And with Gaia, we have worked very closely on a number of um, um, outbreaks, including Ebola, of course. Uh, and then um, we also have asked um, Dr. Errol Manocourt, who is a former uh, UNICEF uh, staff who uh, led our global communication for development teams uh, but also was our uh, deputy representative in India and also our country representative in Egypt for five years. So with a, a, a tremendous uh, field experience and also uh, one of the vice presidents of the International Union of Health Promotion and Education. Um, and also very much involved in the Ebola response, both with different agencies and also the UN uh, management response um, in Ebola. So um, they will bring those perspectives uh, and hopefully um, it, will, it will help us address some of the questions that have been raised 
yesterday and today uh, in the context of you know, what are the systems, what are the coordination mechanisms, what are the capacities that we need to support moving forward? And I'm not going to read the questions that we pose to them, but certainly they focus on these issues, um, current status, gaps, and what do we need to do concretely to take this forward? So with that, I'd like to invite uh, first Dr. Gaia Gamewauhe to speak um, uh, on this particular issue. 